Jazzy Ring family and welcome back to another video. And if this is your first time watching, my name is Liz and I'm glad to have you stop by. You are watching the Fall Lantern Collaboration 2023. This is hosted by the beautiful Kenya over at Kenya's Decor Corner. She does this every year, so I'm so glad to be participating. I will have the link to her channel and the playlist in my description box, so please click on that, subscribe to her channel, and also watch the entire playlist. Thank you so much. And if you would be so kind, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and become a Jazzy Green family member. I would love that and I would appreciate it. Don't forget to double tap your bell so that you will be notified of all my videos and leave me comments down below. And I thank you and welcome to the Jazzy Green family. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, I decided to use this lantern because this is the only one that I could find pretty much that I like. Um, uh, this is kind of an old lantern and I'm starting to, as I said, I like it, but I'm starting to <laughs> not like it anymore. But those of you who know, I moved and a lot of my stuff um, was in storage and now I have a lot of it still packed. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to wipe down and just kind of clean it because, you know, it's dusty. Okay, now we have that done. I'm just gonna place it in the space where I think I want to store it, right in this cute little corner here, right on my kitchen counter. Okay, these are some of the items that I might want to use. I'm not sure, but I know some of them I'm definitely going to use. So I've got this uh, gather towel, some of these nice pumpkins. This one has the letter L for me, Liz. And some of these other uh, pumpkins that I got, a few of them from Dollar Tree, some pine cones, this cute little truck that I love, and some leaves, and some real pretty burgundy leaves like this one. I love that one. This is cute. And maybe this little cute lantern I might use along with the big one. Then we have some florals here, some um, sunflowers, some more foliage leaves, if that's what you call it, and some of these white sunflowers. And here are some of these uh, feathers and a leaf placement so I might be using some of these I don't think I'm gonna use everything okay the first thing I'm gonna use is my grandmother's old and I mean old sign that she used to have in her kitchen that says in everything give thanks and this is uh what is that I can't read the scripture looks like first Thessalonians Chapter 5, verse 18. But anyway, this is a beautiful sign and it's been in the family forever so long. So since she has gone into glory, I have the privilege of having this. So I'm going to put it right back here against that wall like so. Which is this lantern. We're going to put it right next to it. Then I'm going to take this cute little box that says Autumn Blessings with this cute truck. It says blessed, grateful, and thankful. And I have a lot of florals in this. And I used this recently in one of my tablescapes. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. I will have it linked so that you can go and check it out. It was a Tablescape Tuesday collaboration that I participated in. So I'm just going to sit that right there in front of that light fixture there the um, the plug which I don't like to show it so we're gonna camouflage it just a little bit like so I think I might want to use this placement this leaf placement now this is optional I'm not sure if I'm going to it just depends on 
you know how it looks in the end when I'm done but so far I mean it looks cute I'm not sure yet now I've got this gather hand towel I was thinking about laying it right on top of the leaf I'm not sure maybe I'll keep it there well we'll see I'm just playing around with things so I think it looks pretty cute but we'll see let's keep going okay I'm gonna use this blessed lantern right here which I think I might want to keep it there No, I think I'll put it down. So I'm gonna put some florals in there. And these are the florals I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place them down in there. And we're gonna see how it looks. Oh boy. It's kind of getting in the way of the blinds. <laughs> Trial and error, I tell you. Maybe if I scoot the the lantern over some or just put it right here it can be in front of there I don't know you guys like that does that look okay uh, I'm starting to feel like it's too much I mean it's nice but I'm thinking about mm, man see I'm not sure do I want to use it or not because it, it's to me it's too much florals it's, it's giving too much and I really like this one, so I kind of want to use it. So maybe we'll take the florals out of this lantern. Okay, we'll see about this. I put the little feathers inside instead. And uh, it's looking a little bit better to me. It doesn't seem like it's doing too much. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up, you guys. And I'll show you what this all looks at the end. So. Okay, here's the final look of how it turned out. And I think it looks nice. Although I think there's too much going on with the florals, but hey, it still looks pretty. And I might even take something away. Um, probably I could have left that off, that autumn box with the florals, but I liked it. And I might let you see how it looks without it. But let's start with the star of the show, which is the lantern. I just kept it, you know, pretty simple. I just put the florals right in the center of the handle like that and wrap the, um, the leaves around it like that. And then I draped everything down to the side, which I think is cute. Inside, I have my LED candle turned on and I have a, uh, what is that, a gourd type thing inside of there and a pine cone. I probably should have turned it, the lantern the other way so to open up, you know, from the front, but I didn't. But anyway, that's how it looks inside. I can't get all the way around there, but I think it looks cute with the door open, except for the the uh, sign in the back. If I didn't have the sign, I could leave this open. But anyway, I wasn't planning to do that. I was going to keep this closed anyway. And then I have the lantern, the smaller one, just plain. I didn't want to put anything in it because I didn't need it. And I have one of these uh, green balls and there is my pumpkin with my L on it, pine cone. And then I have some pumpkins there in the back and the cute little truck. I thought that looked cute there. And then some more pumpkins and pine cones and small pumpkins right there. Let me see how it'll look if I remove it because I'm just, I like this, but I'm just thinking it's just too much. And you might be thinking that too. <laughs> Let me know if you think it looks better when I remove this out the way versus um, having it there. What I might do is take this smaller lantern. Well, first of all, let me move the candle out the way so I don't burn up my arm in the process. 
Um, not sure about this. Put that there. Maybe I'm trying to camouflage this this light, which I don't think I'm gonna be able to do. Not with that look. Put the pine cones and things around here like this. Where's the other one? Here it is. Ah, uh, no. It looks off balance because it's too much weight over here and not enough over here. Okay, guys, I made some changes to it. So I think I like this a little bit better. What I did was I added a apothecary jar and I had lemons in it, so I kept the lemons in it. And I put the, um, the leaves candle over here and some of the pumpkins over here and the smaller lantern. And I added that pine cone on top and that's the smaller lantern. And of course, those cute little things are inside because I think it looks cute in there. And here is my leaf on the counter. So anyway, I think I'm gonna leave it like this. Um, it looks a little bit better. I can't say that I'm 100% satisfied. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments. But that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys like it. Please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Liz. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. And leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to double tap your bell so that you will be notified of all my videos. Thank you so much, Kenya, for doing this collaboration and inviting us all to participate. You guys have a blessed day and I will see you next time. Bye.